is TFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Wednesday, this is March the 2nd. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. Dow's up 313 at 33,610. We're looking at uh, an inside day so far. We've got the whole thing going. This is a response to this uh, to the um, to last night's uh, speech. It's also waiting for the Fed's speak today. A lot going on. Look at the S&P. The S&P is, so the Dow is up uh, almost 1%. The S&P at this particular point, if I can correctly type that in. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. The S&P is um, also up about 0.94%, uh, up to 39 at 43,045. A nice relief rally. Needs much more. We want to see by Friday. If this is going to be the start of at least a counter trend bounce, according to the counter trend at this particular point, you want to see 44.10 on the S&P. So it doesn't have to be closing there, but it just has to hit that by, um, I would say, by Friday afternoon. And you're looking at the QQQ, tried to rally, uh, it was a little weak. It, now it's come back a little bit at 170, up 174, 343.22, up only a half, a half a percent. This is, needs much more. This needs to get to the 349, probably 351 area uh, by Monday. And let's see if we can do that. The IWM, Russell 2000, is showing a little bit of strength here, a little bit more than the others. It's up 1.5%, up 3 at 202.50. I must say, I'm kind of impressed at how well the small caps have held, but they haven't broken up. But holding is, <laughs> that's pretty good. And now we're looking at gold. Gold finally is having a bit of a pullback. It's just down $13. At uh, 19.30, it's still up in the higher range. It's really crude oil that we're looking at. Crude oil just soared overnight, and it was up to hit 112.51 earlier this morning. It's up 5.70 at 109.13. What on earth is going to get this price down? I mean, whatever is happening now in oil, uh, this is something that cannot be repaired in, in a day or two. This takes quite a while. So the TLT, Pull back sharp as the yields bounced up again. So the TLT is down 1.46 at 139.84. Mm, we'll see what the Fed does today. But the Fed's kind of suck. I suspect that they're going to reluctantly go put point. And then we're going to have to see what happens. All right, I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. There's a lot to discuss. A couple of questions coming in. We'll deal with them. 